guys, so I'm back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about my favorite and not so favorite gels. I'm pretty sure you guys know if you watch my videos what my favorite gel is. We're going to wait it out. We're going to wait it out. So yeah, you guys, so let's get started. So one of the gels that I have used, I've tried to use it a couple of ways. I've used it on the braid out, wash and go, and I just can't get jiggy with it is by tgin and this is the curl bomb i i i feel like it's super super light i feel like it's definitely way too light for a type 4 hair um if you're trying to do a wash and go like you really have to like lather and lather and lather this stuff on um, it's gonna be so light that I feel like your hair is it's just not gonna last. You're not gonna get I don't even think you're gonna get two or three day hair out of this one. And so I just could not. I have someone that actually really really loves this and she has kind of like type mm, 3B-ish hair and she swears by it. Like she loves it so 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 much. So I guess it just all depends, but it just did not work out for me. So the next one, which I don't even know if I can classify this as a gel, but I mean, it's called butter gel. So this is by Camille Rose, and this is the um, aloe whipped butter gel with aloe vera and macadamia oil. I love this stuff. Like I said, I really don't think, I don't know. It's kind of hard to classify it as a gel because it's more like a buttercream it's definitely more like a buttercream than a gel um but i love it like it moisturizes the heck out of my hair i don't think that i would use this by itself for like a wash and go maybe for like a braid out or a twist out but eh, i don't think you could just use this for a wash and go and get the results you're looking for but i haven't tried it so let me know if you've tried this product as a wash and go and what type of results you got. So the next product is by ORS. You guys know that I love this product so much. This is the Curls Unleashed Aloe Vera and Honey Curl Boosting Jelly. So it is more of a gel lead, but I mean, it's still a gel. That's how I classify it. And I freaking love this stuff. Like the worst thing about this product is the smell. It's so bad. Like. Y'all think Texture ID smells bad? This smells <laughs> crazy, but like it, it makes my hair feel so good. I love this stuff so much. Like I really, really love it. It's just stank. It's, it's real stank. It's real stank. The next product I actually did a review on a couple of days ago, and it is the Eco Styler. This is the Cannabis Sativa Oil Black Castor Oil Olive Oil gel if you guys watched that video you know that i had like a love hate relationship with this product like, it literally felt so dry on my hair but the definition was crazy like everybody kept saying the same thing like your hair looks good it doesn't look dry i'm like girl girl i like the definition um in the video i said i wouldn't try it again but i might try it again with like an oil or something to see I don't know, see what I get, I guess, because the definition was definitely there. The next product that, mm -mm, y'all already know, I've talked about this before, I do not like this gel. I have seen so many people that love it, they found ways to make it work for them, but I just, no. And it's so funny because this is olive oil and shea butter, black castor oil, and flaxseed. And the one that I like is kind of sort of the same, but I guess the olive oil and the shea butter just doesn't mix well with my hair with the flaxseed and the castor oil. So I do not like this one. Everybody calls this the gold one. <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, -uh. The next product that I want to talk about is by Eco, and this is the coconuts. So this is just a coconut oil. It doesn't even say oil, it just says coconut. Eco Styler, I had the same reaction to the cannabis one. Um, I don't know, I feel, I feel like this one was really drying too and I just, I couldn't. I just, I could not 
get with this gel. The next product that I want to talk about is by Shave Moisture. And this is the jojoba oil and Yakuba butter braid up conditioning gel with carrot seed oil. It says it is to moisturize and deep condition cornrows, box braids, beads, and extensions. I use this on my hair when I do like my Molly twist and I love it. I've seen a lot of people use it like on their actual hair and they hate it. But I use it when I do my extensions on my hair and I love it. It gives me hold and it gives me shine. And you know how like when you do like box braids or twists or whatever and you get like that build up like right around, you know, the starting point, I guess. I never get that with this gel. Like I never get like all of that lint and stuff that just gets stuck in that one area. So I highly recommend this braid up gel. It is... Bay, I have used so much of it. I don't know if you can tell, but I've used so much of this stuff. Like, it's definitely gone. Before y'all stone me to death, let me talk about Wetline Extreme, okay? Cause, okay. I have tried both of these and I really do like them. I haven't noticed a difference. Um, In one of my videos, a couple of people actually said it's kind of like, old formula no this is the old formula and this is the new formula um but they perform the same to me i got the same results some people were saying that one is more drying than the other i really didn't notice like i said a difference so i definitely highly recommend both of them i mean they're they are so cheap and they work well clearly everybody on youtube is obsessed okay so definitely try wet line extreme i know they have like a blue one i think a green one and a black one i could be totally making that up but i know for sure that there's a blue one um so i don't know if they perform the same but yeah definitely like the wet line extreme okay, next one is aunt jackie's i did not like this one i don't even know why i got this one because they're both this one and the Eco Styler is basically the same thing. Like they're both, they are both coconut based gels. And I just, I didn't like this. I should have known, like I said, if I've already tried the Eco Styler, like, sis, why did you even pick this up? So it wasn't horrible. It's just, eh, I don't it was a little too dry for me. But I have to say that I do like, it's another one. I think it's the flaxseed. I think I've used it all up, but it's another gel by Aunt Jackie that I really, really like, and I definitely think it's the flaxseed one. Another one of my all-time favorites is by Uncle Funky's Daughter, and this is the Curly Magic. I stand for Curly Magic so much. Like, it is just so moisturizing. It is, it's, it's, it is good. It's so good. It pairs well with every leave-in that I've used it with, which is basically like the Camille Rose Honey Leave-In, the um, TGIN Leave-In, the uh, Miel Organics, the Pomegranate and Honey, that leave-in. I love it. It is super moisturizing. You are definitely going to get defined hair with this. It, has, it gives you defined hair. And the hold is pretty good. Like, I can get probably a week out of this. Seriously, okay? So, the next one is by Eco, and it is the Argon Oil. As you can see, I have used this one up. This one used to be Bay before my number one Bay came in my life. I love the Argon Oil. Um, I have no issues with this. I feel like this one is super moisturizing. It doesn't. Like, it doesn't make your hair feel super hard. Like, although it gives you the whole and it gives you the definition, like, your hair doesn't feel dry. Your hair doesn't feel super hard. So, I love this one. But then, there's Bay. There's Bay. Oh, by Eco. I love this one so much. I have another one that is full. So, I have this one, which is almost gone. I have another one this size and then this one. You guys know that I just love this so much. Like, it just makes my hair feel so good. The hold is there. The definition is there. I just get amazing results every single time I use it. And it's so 
funny because when I did my hair with the cannabis sativa, um, I had to wash it out within like two days because it was just so dry. And then I used this one for my wash and go and it just came out so good. So funny because like I said, this one has olive oil, shea butter, black castor oil, and flaxseed. But I don't like this one. This one just has black castor oil and flaxseed. So maybe the olive oil or the shea butter is just too much in this one, but uh-uh. Also, I had a quick question for you guys. So, cause I'm like, am I tripping? Is it me? What is the name? This one says Eco Style, right? This one says Eco Styler. The rest of these also say Eco Style. But this one says Eco Styler. And when it's so funny because when I was looking at a couple of videos, this was like a while back, I was like, is it Eco Style or Eco Styler? And I just forgot to like ever mention it. But I've always called it Eco Styler. Is it Eco Style? Like, where do we get Eco Sour from then? I'm so confused. So anyway, you guys, those are my favorite and not so favorite gels. Definitely let me know what gels are your favorite or the gels that you've tried that maybe I love and you're like, that ain't it, sis. <laughs> that ain't it. Because I remember back in the day, like when I first went natural, everybody was using Icy Fantasia gel. Like that gel was basically like the wet lime extreme now. But I have not heard anybody talk about Icy Fantasia gel in so long. So definitely let me know which gels are your favorite. What can you just not live without? I could only choose two gels to take with me on a vacation and I have to use those for the rest of my life. I would definitely bring Bay. Y'all know I'm bringing Bay. And I think I'm bringing Curly Magic. I know. Wetline Extreme Gel Community. Don't dislike the video, girl. Don't do it. But yeah, I think I'm definitely going to take these two. These are probably my ultimate favorite two gels that I go back and forth on. I have like three or four of these and I have like, what, two extra ones of this. So yeah, these are my favorites that I have bought doubles, triples, so many backups. But anyway, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all in the next one. Bye.